But Sam had found something even more interesting in regards to the FBI and Stingrays. Uh, so I uncovered in May uh, about FBI planes flying around American cities uh, doing surveillance of some kind. And so I published the tail numbers of 100 of these aircraft after tracking back the fact that they were registered to fake companies that didn't exist. Uh, these companies were named things like FVX Research um, or NG Research, things like that that seemed really fake. Uh, so I looked into those companies. It turned out that they didn't have any presence on Secretary of State websites. Um, and they were simply there for the purpose of registering airplanes. Um, so looking at the tail numbers, where they'd been, they were circling American cities, um, even places like Disneyland, um, repeatedly. So I knew it was some kind of surveillance operation. Originally, in my first piece, I wrote that they're probably using Stingray surveillance or other kind of cell phone surveillance. But also, I knew about a place, uh, Dayton, Ohio, that had a contract with a private company to do what's called wide area persistent surveillance. So they literally have extremely advanced imaging software that was originally developed for the military in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, where they can survey an entire city, like 32 square miles, for example. Uh, everything moving, like cars, people walking, sometimes even birds. And I knew Dayton, Ohio, because the ACLU and other people had reported on this. This, well, I believe this was developed by, I want to say the National Reconnaissance Office, but you can see they're talking about drones here. You can see, like, this is a one target, like, you know, and then this is a system called Gorgon Stare, which was more, and then more advanced Gorgon Stare plus Argus. So Argus was one of the ones that was used over Dayton, Ohio, and you can just see that they're advancing the technology, being able to track more and more moving targets on the ground. Um, they call it wide area airborne surveillance. Um, they downplayed it a lot, making it sound like it was almost as if people just had binoculars in the aircraft. It was obvious that it was imaging as well as cell phone surveillance. And they haven't, they're not forthcoming at all uh, with, you know, how often they're using a Stingray in one of these planes or Stingray or related technology. But if I had to guess, it would be, if not every plane, pretty frequently. Stingray is a catch-all term for cell site simulators or MC catchers. Inside your cell phone is a small chip. This chip helps your phone do multiple tasks at once and helps it communicate with the outside world. A specific part of that chip, the baseband, handles all your phone's communications with cell phone towers. The baseband helps your phone decide which tower to choose in order to have the best possible connection. Your baseband is pretty trusting and will connect to just about any tower in the area.